welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so we have started chapter 5 and we were discussing the binomial probability theorem or binomial distributions so today we are going to solve question 5.5 and 5.6 which are closely relevant with each other and both of them are basically the problems of the binomial probability distribution uh, so let us first go through question 5.5 and the statement of it is according to chemical engineering progress approximately 30 percent of all pipe work failures in chemical plants are caused by operator error okay so this is basically the probability of the operator error so let me write the given data as well so the given data this is 5.5 and for 5.5 the given data is what the probability of the operator error is probability of error or let me represent it with P. so p is 0 0.3 which is 30 percent and therefore the probability that the pipe failures are not due to the operator error are q and that is 1 minus p so 1 minus p is 0 0.7 okay so you have to keep it in your mind that this is the probability of the failures in chemical plants due to operator error and this is the failures in the chemical plant which are not due to the operator errors okay so let us go through the questions what is the probability that out of the next 20 pipe work failures at least 10 are due to the operator error okay so what do we have to find out we have to find out the probability that total pipe works are 20 so it means that the n here are let me remove it first the number of total pipe work failures are 20 and out of these 20 at least 10 are due to operator error or k is greater or equal to 10 okay so what do we have to find out we have to find out the probability that k is greater or equal to 10 and this would be what we can see that this would be from 10 probability that k equal to 10 okay up to what up to the probability that k equal to 20 okay we have to find out all these probabilities similarly we can also do it by another formula as well and that would be 1 minus the probability that k is less than 10 okay so after finding them out we can insert all these values here and we will see that the output of it will be the values which we have to find out okay so let me use this formula so here by using this formula what will i have here i will have 1 minus p k is less than 10 so therefore i have to use all these values from 0 to 9 so therefore we will have here k equal to 0 up to 9 and here we have to use the binomial probability law here would be n to k okay and the probability of it and this would be 0 0.3 0 0.3 k okay and also here 0 0.7 n minus k okay so here we will have it let me put all these values because the value of n will remain the same here so let me put the value of n here and n is 20 so 20 here okay and 20 here as well okay so we have to find them out all finding them and then adding them together the output of it will be what 0 0.0480 okay so that is what that is basically the solution of part a of my question similarly in part b of question what is the probability that no more than four out of 20 such failures are due to the operator error which means that in part b i have to find out the probability that no more than four out of 20 such failure due to the operator error no more than four means k is less than or equal to four okay which means here i will have all the values of k from zero up to what up to the probability that k is equal to 4 okay so here it will be what 
it will be again the same formula but here now the values are from 0 to 4 so here it will be k equal to 0 up to 4 okay and here n is 20 okay this is k and the probabilities here will remain the same 0 0.3 okay this is k and also 0 0.7 and n minus k which is 20 minus k okay so that is what after finding it out okay all putting all the values of k here what will we get we will get the output of it and this would be what let me move down somehow so moving down somehow what will we get here the answer of it will be 0 0.2375 okay so that is what that is the solution of part b of my question okay in part c we have to find that suppose for a particular plant that out of the random samples of 20 such failures exactly 5 are due to the operator error okay so let us first find that what is the probability that exactly 5 are due to the operator error and after it we have to see that uh, whether those are basically 30 percent figure stated above plus to this plant or not okay so let us first find the probability that exactly five are due to the operator error out of these 20 so here again by using here the probability that k is equal to what five okay this is a single value here so using the binomial theorem here for 20 choose k okay and here 0.3 and the value of k here is 5 and 0 0.7 the value of k is uh, n minus k so those that would be 15 so finding it out what i will get here the answer of it will be 0 0.1789 okay which is what you can see that this value is less than the value which is given okay here 30 percent so it means this value is basically the viable value and it applies to this plant as well okay so that is what that is basically the solution of question 5.5 okay let us move to question 5.6 and see that what is it asking us according to a survey by the administrative management society one half of u.s companies give employees four weeks of vacation after they have been with the company for 15 years okay so there are basically one half of the u.s companies which give the vacation to the employees which are with them for 15 years find the probability that among six companies surveys at random the number that gives employee four weeks of vacation after 15 years of employment is anywhere from two to five and fewer than three okay so first of all let me see that what is here the given data this is question 5.6 and in given data what should be the probability the probability will be here either the company gives vacation to its uh, employees or not so here therefore the probability that a company gives its employees the vacation okay and that is one half so it would be 0 0.5 okay what is the probability that a random company in the u.s will give the vacation to the employees which are for 15 years is 0 0.5 and the companies which do not give the vacation is again 1 minus 0 0.5 so it would be 0 0.5 here as well okay so out of it what do we have to find out if six companies surveyed at random okay so which means n is six and uh, we have to find out of them that the number that given employees four weeks of vacation after 15 of employment is anywhere from two to six so means what do i have to find out in part a i have to find out the probability of k that is greater or equal to two and less than or equal to five okay so i have to find out how can we find it out it can be found out by using the same formulation that i will have the probability that k is equal to two up to what up to the k is equal to 5 okay so let me apply the same formulation as we did here so let me start here k from 2 up to 5 okay and n is here 6 due to the formula which i have stated earlier and that is basically the formula for the binomial probability distribution so 6 and here k 
okay and the probability here is 0 0.5 of the vacation so here 0 0.5 k and also 0 0.5 and minus k so it would be 6 minus k okay so that is what that is basically the formulation and here in order to find it out we have to find all these values and after finding them out what will i get here the values you have to calculate them and here the answer of it will be given here okay similarly uh, in another part of it we have to find that the companies which give the vacation are fewer than six okay so fewer than six means the probability that k is less than three okay which means here the companies will be from zero up to two because three doesn't lie within this range so therefore all these value will be here due to this will be six uh, k okay and the probability is 0 0.5 and it would be here what it will be k and again 0 0.5 which is q okay this q and it would be 6 minus k as well okay so you have to find these values here as well and this will give you the probability of the question 6 5.6 6 part b okay similarly this is the solution of what this is solution of part a so that's it for today in which we have seen the application of binomial probability theorem for a variety of applications which we have here. So if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box. See you soon.